Hey guys, welcome back. Kyle Dittman here, Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. And today we're gonna walk through a 2024. It's a Cougar, the 27 BHS. We'll get you on the outside, we'll get you inside and see what you think. This is a great travel trailer with an auto level on it and a king bed. So a lot of great features about this unit. So let's get started. Right up front, you're gonna have the fiberglass front cap, really nice docking lights. You can see this window, so we'll show you more of that when we get in the bedroom, be able to look out there. Really nice rock guard down here, so a lot of protection going down the road right away on the front of this unit. While we're up here, we'll kind of show you this as well. A really nice leash, leash latch uh, for your best buddy. Maybe you want to lock down that grill or the kids' bikes or anything that you don't want to grow legs and walk away. Um, hook them up to that, and you're all set there. LP tanks on board. We're gonna fill these as part of the deal with bullion, um, as well as including a 27 deep cycle battery with a battery box right down here. It looks like there's a spot you can fit two if you'd like to do that. So you could always do two on there. Nice power tongue jack right up front for you as well. Um, also Keystone has got this uh, gizmo called the Giggy Box coming down here. Really cleans up a lot of wires on the front of your trailer, right on the tongue. So a lot less mess going on, especially up here with all the stuff kicking up from the road or any debris like that. Really nice to have all the wires inside there and really clean that up with a, a battery disconnect on that as well. So that right up front. On the back side of this camper, inside this little door, it is a smaller door, so kind of a bigger door on the other side though, but in here is your lights for uh, the front cap. You're gonna have your solar controller in there. Um, it's gonna be have the auto levels right in here as well. Aluminum frame construction, notice that. They did add an LED strip, so no longer those little uh, lights on either side, a strip that runs across the whole side, so it's really gonna light up that bay for you really nice and really evenly, so that's gonna be really cool. Endless hot water, so you got a Furion uh, tankless hot water system on this, so hook up, showers no longer, the army shower, turn it on, get wet, soap off, you know, while you're shutting it off, turn it back on to rinse off. You got endless hot water, so no longer first one to jump in gets hot water, second one gets cold, you're set there. Uh, nice docking station on the outside as well. So again, hot and cold water out here. So with this being a bunkhouse, you're gonna have the kids, maybe the dogs, you know, a whole crew with you if you guys wanna be down at the beach, spray off the sand, spray off the dirt, kind of just clean off outside, keep some of those tanks a little emptier. Nice spot to do that along with your connections out here as well. Uh, you do also have a spot for if you want to add more solar, you got a ZAMP solar plug. So those cool briefcase solars that you can really utilize and uh, move them with the sun as the sun goes throughout the day. So a nice option there. Like I said, you got auto level on here. So you can notice the really nice sturdy foot pads. You're going to have that in the front and back. So be able to just push button, walk away. Really unique on a travel trailer. So I like that about Keystone. One big slide box in this unit. Coming around the back side again, notice the um, the size of those pads there, the st stability just dropping down for you. You get your 50 amp service out here. So this is prepped for a second AC in the bedroom. So we'll kind of point that out, but you have a, it's on a 50 amp service. On the back side of this unit, it's gonna come with a full size spare. A nice entry door. So again, with the kids and the bunkhouse, you can always slide this bunk up. Um, want you to notice the aluminum frame construction even on the bunks. So it can be really nice, sturdy there for you. Fold this up, lock it in play. Maybe fitting some bikes in here, a lot of extra storage, a lot of extra gear. You can put that in here, which is really nice. Prep for a backup camera on this unit as well with a ladder to the roof. Check up there, get up your seals, maybe sweep out the slide box. This time of year, leaves are falling, pie cones are falling. So clean out those slide boxes before you bring them in. You have the ladder on board to get you up there. Also giving you a little hitch receiver. So if you wanna bring, you know, if you wanna put your bikes back here, you got bigger bikes, extra coolers, smaller generator, just extra things that you wanna bring. You have a nice rack back here. That's giving you a 300 pound capacity. Now you can't tow with it, but you can put a rack in there. Uh, maybe you got a small scooter, a couple e-bikes, things like that. Hook it up there. The 
campsite, you got the fun side here, a lot of great things going on. Really like these flat top griddles, um, almost like a Blackstone, just a different name. If you've never had one, these are great for breakfast. We do a ton of breakfast on this at my house. But notice how far it kind of pulls away from the camper as well. So it gets you out here, away from the camper, so you don't worry about popping bacon or anything like that. Really like that. Small outdoor fridge. So nothing goes better than cooking dinner and having a cold beverage. So having that right outside here is gonna be really nice. Or, you know, like I said, if you got a bunch of kids, throwing those in there so they're not running in out of the camper where they're filthy, getting that stuff dirty, they can just pop in here and grab some stuff, so. Let's see, is this a second shower? So on the front of the camper here, like I said, the entertainment side. Let's see if we can get in there. Look at that, you even got another hot and cold shower. So one on both sides, which is pretty unique. Uh, cable, satellite hookup out here, power. So if you want to create a nice spot under the awning, uh, have your favorite game set up, movie night with the kids, things like that. You can set that all up over here as well. Outdoor speakers. Huge awning that spans pretty much the whole length of the camper with a great LED uh, strip light that runs under that. So it's really going to light up a lot of stuff at night. And then even with that awning in, you'll still get some light out of that at night if you just turn the lights on under it. It's really cool. Really nice aluminum wheels. You get your Lippert solid steps that go in. So bringing those to the ground, like I said, little kids with the dogs. I got an older dog, so she moves a little slower. So these stairs would be great for her. Again, with the little kids kind of maybe crawling up and down, that's a cool um, feature as well. Here's the other side of that pass-through storage. A couple things I want you to notice is how big this side is compared to the other side. The aluminum frame construction there. You also got the in-command control box out here. So if anything were to happen, you got an override here. So almost three different ways because you got your control box inside. Uh, if that malfunctions, you got this guy and you can do it manually. So really kind of a nice fail-safe system in case anything were to happen. You got three ways to bring things in so you're never really gonna be stranded. The thickness on these baggage doors, which are great, really solid, really durable, so you feel secure. Uh, you can keep the cold out. Now it's moving into the fall season, so some of those cooler nights or early mornings that are a little cooler, you might feel that kind of coming through, but this is really going to block it down. Also got the magnets to hold it up so you're not breaking any of those clips, so that's really nice. Um, here's going to be your lights for inside here as well, and it is prepped for the tire link system too. So. Moving inside, Keystone has also upgraded their solar system. So they had a 200, they've went to a 220. So not a huge upgrade, but any upgrade will take it. So giving you a little extra power, shooting into those batteries there for you where you got good sun. Also the climate guard protection on here. So, you know, some people like to ask if these are four season campers here in Minnesota, I like to say extended three season, early spring, late fall, get you out, really feel comfortable with that fully enclosed underbelly and everything that's going on under there too, so. We'll swing you guys inside. Right as you walk in, you have a nice little catch-all table right here with some really nice solid drawers and then a spot to kick the shoes so those are right out of your way, right under there. Uh, you got your LP detector, fuse box, breaker box, all that right as you walk in. And then here's that touch screen in command system right as you walk in as well. So come on in. This kitchen, I like how it's kind of split up. You got your kitchen and prep space over here with plenty of power, USB, USB-C, kind of on both sides of the sink. Nice push puck light under here with storage all up above. You can just really feel the nice quality of these doors. Um, slow closing doors, so I don't know if you can see that in the video. Nice closing doors on there. Got this really cool light little accent light there for you, kind of turn that on. And then you got your stove, the three burner cooktop, the oven, nice little pot and pans drawer kind of on this side. So it splits it up so somebody can do some cooking, somebody can do some prepping, and you're kind of a little ways out of each other's space. So that's really nice. 12 volt fridge and freezer, 10.2 cubic feet. 
they cool down really fast big enough for the whole crew for the weekend maybe an extended weekend up to a week really a lot of space in here for you running off your truck going down the road not having to turn the propane to do that not having to turn it on on a wednesday to get out camping friday to get it cold really like these new fridges the size of this u-shaped dinette is awesome i mean six people around here and if you wanted to you can bring in a couple extra camping chairs so if you're sleeping you know the two four six eight people in here you can fit them all around the table if it's dreary camping weekend maybe a little wet rainy come inside play some games all around the table nice spot for that if it's a really nice weekend and you guys wanted to have extra table space this table is movable you can fold it down bring it outside add it to the space outside you got your tv right across from the theater seating with a lot of extra storage on both sides of the TV. And then the window, a nice long window under there that'll open up and bring some cross breeze between all the windows that you can open in here. Take a look at the ceiling. It's gonna be a nice rounded ceiling up here. Give you a lot more extra headroom. So in these travel trailers, some of these taller guys or taller gals, they start getting a little shorter. You're worried about hitting your head on the AC. Giving you a few extra inches up here really makes it feel nice. Also gives you that Blade Air 360 that Keystone's got going on. So it's gonna dump the AC evenly out of here. So you're not gonna have any hot and cold spots with those directional um, AC vents that they got in here. And I said theater seats in here, power. They got USB in them right across from the TV. Nice window on the side, on the back. These both open to bring that cross ventilation. Again, more storage up top. Soft closing on those as well. Hidden hinges in here, so that's gonna be really nice. So it really makes it look clean um, and just really residential look to that uh, going on. Power lights for the whole camper right in the back here and up front. So I like how it's in two different spots. So you can kind of, if you're sitting there, you don't gotta get up, turn off the lights up above head. It's really nice. Back here for the bunks. So again, you got that double over double bunk. Maybe if you do got the pets, throw their pet bed under here. Nice crawl space under here for extra storage. Nice double over double bunks. 300 pound capacity on these bunks. Uh, if you want to not have any lights, take the bottom. You want to turn some lights on the top, you got that going on. But you do have power and stuff on both sides of those. And then also back here, you kind of got your own dedicated wardrobe space for the bunk house for the kids. So nice little section there. And then each kid, each person is going to have their own kind of uh, privacy wardrobe. A lot of them sometimes are a longer curtain. So if the top guy wants to close his, the bottom person has to. So this way, with them being split up, you can kind of customize it and open or close it to your liking. Back here in the bathroom, you got a good space back here. You got a porcelain toilet. Um, you know, in these travel trailers, bathrooms get a little tighter, but really it's all about getting in, getting a little better smelling than what you went in. So that can definitely happen in here. I'm a shorter guy, so I don't have to worry about it, but you look at all this extra headroom. So you folks that are over six feet tall, you're gonna have no problem in here. Like the little light, so you have a sky dome during the day and then you do have a light above it at night. So a couple cool features there. Window in the bathroom opens up. You also got a vent up here. So kind of really eliminate all that extra heat or steam from the warmer showers that people are taking. Really nice sink, big enough to fit both your hands in. Some counter space to put, you know, whether it's hair supplies, toothbrushes, any of that extra stuff, put it here. And then you do have a small little section under the sink to a couple, a couple extra things down there. And then a nice corner medicine cabinet to store some stuff in there. And then this is also where your tankless hot water heater, all your controls for that are gonna be back here in the bathroom. So that is the bathroom. Uh, these Coleman mock airs are also gonna have more of a residential uh, air filter in them. So that's gonna be really nice. Not just the little screen, mesh screen thing, catching some stuff. This is gonna be more of a HEPA filtration kind of uh, AC filtration system in there. So that's gonna be nice kind of zipped past this but check out the storage on 
under there. Great spot for a garbage can and then some. This sink, nice little drying rack on one side, cutting board on this side, make it one big space across there. Up in the bedroom. So again, like I said, it's got a king size bed, so it does make this bedroom a little tighter, but again, really, all you're doing in the bedroom when you're out camping is really sleeping. You know, something like this isn't a full timer, so it gives you the nice big bed, little nightstands on each, little cubbies under those nightstands to tuck some stuff. And then you got power, USB, USB-C on both sides. We'll kind of swing up here. Here's that window we were kind of showing you on the outside at the beginning of the video. So that might be nice. You're kind of laying under here, looking at the stars. That's pretty sweet. Depending on the day, if you're taking a daytime nap, you can pull that down, black it out. You can do all that as well. Like I said, it is prepped for a second AC, so everything is good to go there. Otherwise, you just got a vent um, to kind of get some cross ventilation. The, both the windows are gonna open up here for you. Um, it is also ducted for AC back here. So pushing the AC back here. So like I said, you are prepped for a second one, but maybe check it out and see if you get enough air and if it cools the space down with the one, then you're good to go. If you like to sleep cold with a ton of blankets and really curl up, or if you got a bunch of dogs and they're always sleeping with you, so this room's gonna be hot, maybe that second AC might be beneficial for you. Storage in here, so you got storage up above. These doors do pass through, so this whole section is one big pass through, which is gonna be nice. And then you do have the wardrobe storage on either side. If you wanted to, prepped for a TV in here as well. You got the TV backer and all the hookups in the ceiling over in the corner for you. So I think that's all on this guy. Might have missed some stuff, so please reach out to me. Again, my name is Kyle Dibbon. I'm here at Bullion RV. Shoot me a text, shoot me a call. Uh, let me know what you like about this video, how we can help you out. Hit that like button, really helps us out. If you haven't yet, subscribe to our channel. That helps us out as well. Um, like I said, I'm here to help you guys any way I can. 218-740-4964. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.